Hey guys, welcome back to this new video. Today I have a different type of video for you guys. Don't worry, there'll be another match coming next week. I'm just trying to, you know, diversify my content a little bit, listen to my followers, I'm reading all your comments. So again, if you have any suggestions, like this was suggested by a few of you guys, if you have any more suggestions on what else you want to see, um, I know a lot of you are saying vlogging behind the scenes and so on, so I'll be doing more of that soon. But as of today, I'm bringing you what I do before a match, how I prepare for a match physically. So this is my warm-up routine starting from like when I wake up and it may vary a little bit depending on when I'm playing a match but there's a few set things that I always do throughout the day whether all in a row or whether spaced out uh, so we're bringing those uh, today and I'll be showing you guys exactly how a uh, former college player, D1 college player and tennis pro kind of gets ready for the match physically um, and what routine I go through and so on. So the first thing I like to do is my mobility routine that I always do uh, the day of the match, uh, whether again straight before or uh, a couple hours earlier, but I always do this and it's the same routine over and over and I feel like it really helps me get my body loose um, and get ready nice and nice and elastic, nice and flexible uh, and feeling good for a match. So I'll be bringing you these exercises and I'll be showing them to you right now. So the first exercise that I like to start off with is the banded leg raise. I feel like this is a nice dynamic stretch that activates your leg nicely and the band really gives that extra stretch to your legs and I don't know I've just become used to doing this one first thing in the morning and it's been great. I like to do 10 on each side and try to hold for a second or two at the top. The second exercise I always do is lying rotations and these are classic, great for your back, shoulders and all upper body really. It's one of those exercises that honestly makes you feel good afterwards if you know what I mean. You always have to try to keep the knee down and the hand that moves to stay in contact with the ground at all times. I do 8 on each side and then from the same position I go into pretzel stretch, grabbing my bottom leg. Again you want to keep the upper knee down and once you're in position you take 5 deep breaths and at each exhale you try to open up and push the leg down a bit more to get that good quad stretch. This is where I get up and start taking care of my hips. Hips are really important in tennis and you always do stretches and mobility for it because it doesn't only affect your legs but they also affect your abs and upper body so you want to make sure you're not tight there. 10 each of these stretches nice and deep and then move into the inside of the hip flexor or I don't know if it's still called hip flexor or what it is. But anyway these stretches also help a lot with flexibility on the court. I like to do 10 each here as well going back and forth both legs as usual. Next up I transition to the glutes with the pigeon stretch which really affects the hip flexors a little bit as well. And you just get into push up position and bring your leg up in front and hold this position for 30 seconds. Honestly your glutes and flexors get sore just by sitting down on a chair. So even if you're not a tennis player this is a great stretch to release some of that tension. After a couple 30 seconds on each leg I like to go back into neutral position here and push my body back and forth a couple times to activate a little bit. After 6 or 7 of these I bring my leg in front to my hand and do the spider man stretch for 6 times. As you can see the exercises are getting more dynamic as we go along and using more muscles at the body once. These are great for hips again but also your shoulders and chest as well as your ab that plays part in holding you in that position. Next up is one of my favorites and hardest one. It's a deep squat stretch. There's different versions of this exercise and mainly the goal is to just get down as much as you can, stay there for a second or two and then get up. I like to do it where I keep my hands on my feet so I don't get up completely but go until I have to let my arms go and feel my legs stretch. At that point I get down and I like to do this for six times. Next up we start getting to the phase where we get a little more active and those muscles get more fired up. So I start a set off with the single leg deadlift that end with a knee hug. Very important to maintain balance here while going as much as you can with the back leg. After 5 on each side I take an ankle band, put it on my feet and do 5 on each side, really controlling the movement and feeling my legs starting to burn a little. After I do both legs I keep the band on and I do 8 side steps on each side to really activate my glutes and hips here. I like to do this series 3 times in total, so starting with one set of each in order for 3 total series. This really gets me warm and activated. So this little routine should have taken you around like 15-20 minutes max depending you know, on, on how much time you want to spend on each exercise but doing it like I do it really takes like 15 minutes. So it's pretty quick but you know your body's starting to feel loose, um, kind of getting warm. So this is where I then go into the running part you know and I'm not going to show it but I mean each, each guy, each person, each player has their own little routine. I like to do that first before I start warming up my arms because I always have more of a arm issues than my legs. My legs are, are usually fine, you know, once they're warm up. And sometimes my arm hurts, uh, my shoulder and so on. So I like to warm up the shoulders last, as well as the arm. Yeah, so let's just say I did that. Um, so now we'll jump into my shoulder and arm uh, band and, and warm up that I do right before going into the match. This possibly I finish like five minutes before actually entering the court. So I like to do this at the very last moment 
so that I'm actually very, very warm when I go in. The arms warm-ups are pretty straightforward here. Obviously for longer and on a more open space, but just a classic arm warm-up is what I like to do at the start here. Nothing too complicated. This looks a little silly in this five meters I have, but anyway, this is where we start to get the bands. And I like to start with this big band and get some stretches in, starting with the pecs here. I go back and forth a few times. You always want to keep this a little bit dynamic and never too static, it's really important. Next, with the same grip, we have our arm go across and stretch nicely that shoulder back and forth 10 times. And finally, the last one with the big band I like to do is this one for the tricep. You know, really important to warm up nicely all sides of your arm and make sure to repeat all three or four of arms. So at this point, I do these literally like six, seven minutes before getting on court. I like my shoulder and arm to be very warm when I get in. So I do my external rotations in a variety of different ways. As you can see here, I'm going into the Cuban press and really important here to keep the elbow still and at contact here. So you can only use your shoulder and forearm as you should. Finally, I do this one, not really sure what it's called, but also 10 reps. After doing both arms, I jump into these little short movements with the ankle band. Even starting to feel some burn on my shoulder. That's kind of my goal here, so I know I'm properly warm. So at this point, I should be warm and ready to go. The last thing I do is usually do some shadow swings. You know, I like to feel a little forehand, backhand, and serve, you know, all the shots just where there's a little space um, and try to visualize the ball. And just that's the very last thing I do before I go on court right after this whole routine, which really doesn't take much to be honest, including the running part, it's probably like half an hour, maybe a little less. Um, and also you can shorten it if you feel like that, if you see the matches going uh, to end soon, or you can lengthen it or take more longer breaks, you know? But yeah, this was it. This is my uh, warm up routine for every single match. It's the same every time, it doesn't change. Um, let me know what you wanna see next. Maybe you wanna see my what I do after match, how I recover, or how I physically and mentally prepare for a match. Just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to read them and maybe I'll do another video on something you guys suggest. Until then, see you.